Happy Friday, or as Shireen Kassam says it, happy Friday. Yay. It's Friday, Barry. Hey, happy Air Friday. That's right. We are ready to eat, and I hope you hear that sound in the background. Trine, do you hear it? I do. I hear yummy goodness. All right, so what are we doing today? We are making French toast with a cheesecake filling in the air fryer. See, see how you do it? You, you, you do it so nonchalantly, baby. I think you need to do it with a little more pizzazz. So, Shireen, what are we eating today? We are eating a soft shala. I forgot the name of the bread. We are eating a soft shala bread, mm. air fried with crispy goodness, mm. topped with a cheesecake filling. There we go. Mm. Make love. Yeah. Make love to it. Oh, that sounds so delicious. So French toast. Yes. With cheese cake. Yes. Filling. Yes. And syrup, baby. Yes, we've got I brought a whole thing of jiggy of syrup. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. That looks so tasty. And we can you can put some whipped cream on it if you want. The oh, only man. thing that's missing is fresh fruit. But I thought, you know what? Who needs the fruit? <laughs> who needs the fruit? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Who needs the fruit? We ain't, we, ain't do, we ain't doing healthy today. No, 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 no. So, okay, oh, so if man. you guys didn't get a chance to see last week's Air Friday, we took it to a whole new level. We had a two-ingredient cheesecake cookie. So if you oh. didn't get a chance to see that, watch yes. that. Yes, I still have fantasies about that yeah. cookie. So we took mm. that one up a mm. notch. So we decided to take mm. it up even another notch to 11, not to 12, not to 13. So we got French toast. So, Shireen, break it down. How do we make these French toast today okay so this one's really easy you can just use any bread that you have in your house i went with a challa bread i've heard challa bread and brio Ooh, it's done uh, okay 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 continue <laughs> so you challa uh, bread. bread or brioche bread or whatever bread you have you know texas toast whatever you want the piece of bread no thicker than an inch because if it's thicker than an inch you're gonna have a hard time marinating it oh, that ain't what my wife told me <laughs> Okay, anyways, while Phil, uh, <laughs> um, then you want to make your, your marinade. Some people call it a custard. Basically, you just want some eggs, a dash of milk. I used a coconut, no, I used, what milk did I use? Almond milk? No, I used oat milk today. Okay. I used oat. an oat milk, because I know we're both lactose intolerant. Okay, okay. So I was debating between the vanilla almond milk or just an oat milk. I went with the oat milk. All right, cool. Um, so two eggs, a dab of oat milk. Not too much milk, because then it's going to get too soggy, like too, you know what I mean, runny. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Some cinnamon. I always use more cinnamon than you're supposed to in recipes, because I love cinnamon. Plus, it's got health benefits. It's supposed to make you skinny. <laughs> and then I use um, some, al uh, some vanilla extract. Sounds good. And then once you have this fun little uh, marinade, what's another word for marinade for breakfast time? I don't know. Is marinade the right word? Um, let's just say um, bath. Bath? It's a bath. Okay. You're just going to take your bread, right? Mm -hmm. And again, you want it to be thick because you don't want it to fall apart. Yeah. Um, but you also need a good quality bread so it doesn't fall apart. And you're just going to soak it in the marinade. And you really want the marinade to really soak into the bread. So you want to keep it in there for about a minute before you flip it over and, and uh, marinate the second side. Gotcha. So I'm just going to let it sit in there for a little bit, you know, marinate, press it down a little bit. Okay. Because it's a thick piece of bread, you know, you want it to go all yeah. the way through, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Super thick. And then we're just going to pretend it's been a minute. Okay. And then, because <laughs> I really want to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And you're just going to flip it over and marinate the other side. All right. And see how you've good. got the marinade on the piece of bread now? Mm -hmm, yeah. So you just want to get it in there. And then when you're when it's all done and ready, you're just going to pick it up. Uh, you can use like a little spatula thingy. Uh-huh. You want to make sure when you pick it up, you don't break it. So be gentle. And yeah. then before you put it in the air fryer, just shake it a little bit so, so that all the extra runny stuff comes off. So it's so not like all why, in your air fryer. This, that's why you got to have the thick bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. So it's not all soggy and runny and stuff. Yep. And you're just going to like shake it a little bit. Like, you know, get all the extra residue off. Gotcha. And before you put it in the air fryer, make sure you spray your air fryer or it will stick mm. to your air fryer. And that's bad because then your bread will break apart. 
Yeah, you don't want your bread breaking in, in the air. And fryer. that's all. That's all I did. That seems super that's, simple, man. Yeah. See, that's the that's, that's all the I goal did. of Air Friday because you know it's Friday night. All it's I 8 did. p.m. We want your nights not to be consistently long in the kitchen. We want you to watch these videos. We want you to take the ingredients that you got in your kitchen. Two, three, four ingredients, five max, right? I mean, you minus your seasonings or whatever. But we want you to take what you got in your kitchen and go ahead and make it. Everyone's got an air fryer now, so go ahead and take what you got. Go ahead and do what you do. Yeah, and you probably have these ingredients yeah. at home, right? I yeah. mean, who doesn't have eggs, bread, milk, and some... So, and, milk. You don't, and if you don't have cinnamon or vanilla extract, use something. Use almond extract. Use nutmeg. Use yeah. pumpkin spice. Yeah. There's so many different things you yeah. should have in your in your closet, pantry, whatever it's called, yeah. your kitchen. And, and, and let's experiment. Let's have some yes. fun and let's see how we did. So that ding went off. So let's go ahead and see what we did. So let's go ahead and go ahead and go to the air fry cam. Here we go. Two. All right. Drum roll. Oh. Okay. Mmm, mm, I can smell the cinnamon. Yeah. You definitely smell the cinnamon and the vanilla extract. All right. These almost look like those fritters that we got. Yeah, those fritters were good. Mm. That looks really good. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Okay, so now... Like, so now I'm just going to spread an even coat of cheesecake filling on it. Oh, my gosh. So so, so just just now, even though they're good now, Shireen is taking it to an even better level by adding the cheesecake filling. Yes. Holy for, smokes. For those of you who don't know, because I didn't know this existed. Shereen, you she can, literally did not know You can get cheesecake no-bake filling. Like, this is she like the literal, know. like, I've made cheesecake filling from scratch. You don't have to make it from scratch anymore. You can just buy it. Like, this is America. <laughs> like, you can just buy cheesecake filling. Who knew? Who knew? So I'm just gonna who knew? take my spoon here. Take All a right. dollop. All right. I'm gonna put it on this piece. Man. I'm just going to spread it out, you know? Yes, go ahead. Spread it, baby. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just going to take the second piece and put it right on top. There you go. You got a French toast sandwich. That looks so good. Doesn't it? Look. Dude, you got to put some whipped cream in that baby, too, right? Do you want some whipped cream or do you want some syrup? Syrup on that bad boy. You want syrup or maybe syrup on that bad boy? I thought you boy. weren't a syrup boy. Nope, nope. I think some syrup goes okay, on let that me bad boy. Cut it. Wow. We can do both. Nobody's no, stopping no. us from doing syrup and whipped cream. True, true. But I think I think it, <laughs> with, with 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 French toast, French toast goes with syrup naturally. Okay. I'm gonna go get. I'm getting super close to the camera. Here. I thought you were going to you were going to be like I'm going to get some diabetes cuz that's what I'm about to get. I've already <laughs> had diabetes. diabetes. I still have I'm going to get extra more diabetes here. So this is this I'm only going to take a couple of bites but I'm so excited. Look at me guys. Look at me in the camera. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all week for this. <laughs> when Shereen told me she was going to make this, I was like, "Yes!" I haven't had french toast since the days I used to eat at Golden Corral. You guys remember Golden Corral? Golden Corral's dead now because of COVID. Wait, is it really? Yeah, but look at this. Look in the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me let me put you back on screen here, baby. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta take a picture of this master. Mm. Just look at it. Just look at it. I feel like it needs a 360 video. <laughs> Air fried French toast. Who would have thought of that? I know. I this is what happens when you're just like a glutton. You just think of like the weirdest things. All right, can I can I can I can I go? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. ready. Are you gonna bite or you fork and knife it? I'm fork and knife it, baby. Okay, I'm just gonna bite like a sandwich. All right. You ready? Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. What, what is it? What is it? Tell me. Oh my god. Every week, man, we outdo ourselves. 
it hits you, that you take that bite, I'm like, not even three seconds. Oh my god. I literally have just been hugged by a cloud of by a cloud of mm. deliciousness. Mm. It's taking mm. me to ecstasy here. My God. Oh. So fluffy. Get crisp. Like the out the edges oh. of the bread are still crunchy. But the inside of the bread is nice soft. and soft with the cream cheese. Mm. Cheesecake. And I taste this the cinnamon and the almond uh, oat milk. You taste the oat milk? Yeah, I taste the milk. Mm. Bruh. Oh, this is good. This is good. Mm. Bravo, Serene. Oh, my goodness. Bravo. Would you eat this for breakfast, you think? Or would this be like dessert? This is dessert, baby. This is dessert. I can't eat it for breakfast. Because who's going to eat all the stuff we made? <laughs> this is dessert. Oh, I can't tell if the syrup helped it or hurt it. I mean, I don't really taste the syrup. This is so good. Like, holy smokes. Oh, this is, this so, is good. so, this is, I was nervous a little bit. Because, Why? Because when you're making French toast, you have to be very careful on the heat setting, right? Because mm -hmm. if you have your heat setting too high or too low, it'll dry the bread out. Gotcha. Right? And you want that, you want your French toast to be f like fluffy and like moist. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I've been to restaurants and I've ordered French toast and like, it'll just, it's so dry and you're just like, Ugh, you know? So I was nervous in the air fryer because air fryers are like weird because you got to get the right temperature and I you can't you. watch. You can't see what's happening inside the air fryer. You don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't right. know what's happening. Yeah. Well, you knew exactly what the F you were doing because that oh. is the bomb. So I am so happy and so proud because that was extravagantly delicious. I, I am. I, oh, man, that was so good. But um, I mean, damn. But uh, well, that's it, Shereen. P please tell everybody where can I get some CBD? I know you. I know you just are biting your stuff right now. But I want to take another bite too. But oh my god, so good. Okay, you guys want some CBD or Delta Eight? Hit me up, mypaincenter.com. All one word, mypaincenter.com. If you're a Radio Rejects fan, throw the code into the code for fifteen percent off. I think it's called Rejects Fifteen. If you want to hear a dope podcast on finding your passion or creativity, hit me up at funnybrowngirl.com. And if you need a comedian, I'm right here, baby. Funnybrowngirl.com. Hit me up and let's get something scheduled. That's right. And if you are looking to start a podcast or record a podcast, we are recording this at the Podcast Doctor Studios in Orlando, Florida. I am Phil. I am the Podcast Doctor. Just hit me up at itsthepodcastdoctor.com or just shoot me a messenger, or a messenger, whatever, on um, at the Radio Rejects Live page. Or if you are a Orlando restaurant or a Central Florida restaurant and you want to feature your food here on Air Friday or just on the Radio Rejects Live show that we do every other Sunday at 2.30, hit us up in the DMs and we will do something. Um, I, think, I think we'll do something because... We love to eat. We mm -hmm. are gluttons, and obviously, we can we can we show you that here. But this mm. has been tremendous Air Friday. I'm loving these shows week after week after week. We keep kicking it up a notch. This has been delicious. But with that said, ah, man, well, what next? <laughs> I don't know. I'm this is getting so good that like we keep outdoing ourselves. Like, yeah, this top is, three. What are your top three Air Fryer moments? These last three episodes. Yeah, the, air, <laughs> the Reese's pieces. Yes. The Reese's peanut butter cup, the, the cookie. cookie with cheesecake filling, and, and this French and this. toast. Yeah, so who knows what we're going to do next. So make sure you guys are, are, are following us. Make sure you hit that bell to get notified every time we go live, every time we premiere an episode, because you do not want to miss these shows. Make sure you, you like these episodes. Make sure you're commenting below, and make sure you're joining the Rejects Table Facebook group to get in on all the action and get all the stuff before everybody else sees it. So that said, we'll catch you guys later. See you next week. Bye.